In this problem, we have a car being propelled by the energy stored in a spring. We want to find the velocity of the car right after it is leaving the spring. The car has a mass of 6 grams, the spring when compressed is 5.15 millimeters long, and when the spring is elongated is 12.66 millimeters long. I did a rough measurement of the force from the spring by placing it on a scale and came up with the spring constant of about 534 newtons per meter the spring is compressed. We will assume a uniform spring constant. We will be assuming no friction, a massless spring, and all energy goes into linear motion. Now how do we go about solving this one for velocity? I want to note the importance of staying in the correct units. So I've converted all of my length measurements to meters, the mass into kilograms, and the spring constant into newtons per meter. So the first thing is that we will be assuming the conservation of energy, which means that the energy at initial position when the spring is compressed is equal to the final condition or when the spring is elongated. So if we take the potential energy at point one and add the kinetic energy at point one, this equals the potential energy at point two plus the kinetic energy at point two. There is no motion at initial condition, so the kinetic energy can be removed and set to zero. And there is no potential energy at point two when the car has left the spring and is in motion. So the potential energy can be set to zero. We are left with the formula that the potential energy at the initial position of one equals the kinetic energy at the final condition of two. Now we need to find the energy equation. For potential energy, we can plot Hooke's law, which is the spring constant times the displacement equals force. This can be expressed and graphed as k times x. The y-axis is force and the x-axis is displacement of the spring. Energy is being released, so I'll be using a positive spring constant. Now the area underneath this line is equal to the potential energy and is equal to the area of a triangle of one half height times base. The height of the triangle is the spring constant times x, which is the y value at a given point, and the base is the distance x from the origin. Now for kinetic energy, we will plot the line for momentum, which is mass times velocity. The momentum is the y-axis, and the velocity is the x-axis. The area underneath this line once again is the energy, but this time the kinetic energy. It once again makes a triangle with area of one-half height times base. The height now is once again the y-value at a point, which is the mass times the velocity. And the base is the v-distance from the origin, which is the change in velocity. Now we can set these two equations equal to one another. Our mission now is to get velocity to one side by itself. We can divide both sides by one-half mass, which the one-half gets canceled out. Next, we can take the square root of both sides. This leaves us with the square root of k, spring constant, times the x, or displacement of the spring, squared, divided by the mass of the car of 0.006 kilograms, equals the velocity upon leaving the spring. Plugging in all of our values and pressing the enter key on our calculator, we get a velocity of 2.24 meters per second, which is about 5 miles per hour, or about 8 kilometers per hour. I have placed a poll on my community tab of my channel for which topic the next five videos should be. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.